my goodness, you would not believe the lengths that I went to to make this video. But I've finally done it. We are here now. We are just ready and prepared to do this. I have these pants that don't fit me too well. So I was like, what can I do to either trash them or make them better? So I was looking on Pinterest and I saw these adorable embroidered pants and I loved them. And I was like, I wanted to do that. I've been looking up how to embroider like easily. Embroider is actually really hard, is really hard to say. I'm also probably gonna turn these into shorts, but the journey didn't even start when I was trying to find the idea to make this video. It started by trying to find the materials. <laughs> I know that we have embroidery kits. It just took me forever, and I mean, forever to find it. The kits are Christmas based, so then I decided the most logical thing to do is look inside of the Christmas decorations, which happens to be downstairs in our laundry room where there is a whole wall of storage bins, and at the very top are four huge storage bins, and that is where we keep the Christmas decorations. I just try to grab them, and they're like tall, so I have to get on my tippy toes, and then I realize since they're stacked on top of each other, there's no way I'm ever going to do it, so then I grab um, a storage container that's not being used, I climb up on that, I try to get them down, and I, like one by one I get them all down, and I'm looking every single one of them, and it's not there, so then I have to put them back up there, and that is just another journey, and so then I call my mom, and this is a two-day process by the way, and I call my mom, and I'm like, I don't know where it is, like I, I checked in all the storage bins, and she's like, oh, you mean this right here, she just pulls it out of like this little, it's a corner basically, and she pulls out all the embroidery stuff, and I'm like, So this is where we are right now. Have I mentioned I don't know how to embroider? Luckily we do have plenty of thread. Like there's no way I'm ever gonna run out of thread. Where to begin? Just put that right there. This is a mess. Why did I begin this video? I doing? I need to get the reference. So I love the placement. I know this is a jean jacket, but we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> she just. Stays. I like the placement of this one and this one because I like how it's on the pocket. All right, sorry if the quality went down, but I have to film with my front camera because I have to make sure it's filming. So sorry, but this is a little bit more technical. Okay, I know you can't see this, but the struggle is hidden. I don't know what to do. From, I'm looking at my reference pictures and I'm trying to figure out what I want. I, I know that embroidery takes several hours and I, don't have a lot of commitment, but I can, I can try. I might have to resort to drastic measures, but this doesn't wash out. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done that because I don't know how to do that. I guess I'll learn. I guess we're going for like a, we're not going for like a machine made kind of moment. We're going for a very homemade look. And it's turning out there whether, turning out like that whether we like it or not. So I drew this and I'm pretty happy with it. They are not perfect as you can, you know what? Let, let me point with one of my fingers that are, is perfect. Okay. They are not perfect as you can tell. I'm pretty proud of what I've created. And I'm going to, I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is not advice, but from what I have gathered, we're going to take three strands of, oh dear. This is a struggle by itself. I can't separate them. So then we thread it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. No way. Yes! Oh, there's a pocket. 
Ta-da! I made a stitch. <laughs> Ooh, only 9,999 more to go. Aw, oh, this petal is looking so cute. Man, so far, if you don't look too close, it looks awesome. <laughs> I'm tying a knot. Okay, I'm almost done with my first flower. I know, this is... How long? 15 minutes, one flower. I'm not even done with the first flower. I still need to do the inside. So I'm almost finished with the first flower. That's what it's looking like right now. Why? I'm spending more time threading this this silly needle, needle more than I'm actually spending time on the design. <gasps> so impressive. No, please stop, stop, thank you. I know, I know. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, continue. I think what I'm going to have to do is get a new strand, start afresh. So what I have been trying to do for the past half hour is do French knot. And um, that's too advanced for me. I am all done with this flower. I'm done with this flower! It has ruined me. One flower. This one flower took me over half an hour to do. Let's get started on the next one. If anyone ever even mentions the name French Knot, I'm going to throw a brick at them. I'm gonna do the petals of the daisy. And it's just like the yellow flower was, except for less stressful because I know what I'm doing now. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought this would be a nice simple craft. I think of myself as a pretty impatient person so I'm not gonna be a very happy camper at the end of this. Oh well then. See, this is the inside. This is one petal. This is the beginning of another pe uh, petal but I cross stitch that so I just gotta boop and just dig out all the progress that I just did which is so funny I love this like this is hilarious to me I just so funny okay I got some super glue gonna super glue the edges so it doesn't fray I have made one stitch and I haven't made a single mistake I'm starting to worry that something is wrong so we tried this again and it's working. <laughs> I tried putting it over the pocket first and it wasn't working. Oh, that's great. Now I have this thing. Ooh, it's exciting. Oh, this flower was so difficult to work on because there was this pocket in the way. So you had to sew through not only the initial layer of jean, which was very hard to sew through, but also a pocket underneath. So I was literally trying to poke the hole through and pull the little tiny needle through for ma the majority of the work. Like it was, it was awful. I'm now re realizing how thin this fabric is. Why does this keep on happening? the sound that's the only thing i like about this again I, I was watching you this time this right now why do you stop it are we ready for day two or what this is what i did um last night we were watching mo a movie school of rock it's amazing it was really funny if you just ignore the language <laughs> it's really funny but i like as i was watching it i was just you know, learning, I finally figured out how to do the French knot, as you can see, my expertise. Someone please make a compilation of me just threading needles. Heck yeah, I did that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! I just did that. I cannot tell you how long I spent trying to figure out how to do those silly French knots. I worked, nay, slaved over them for the longest time. And when I finally figured out how to do it, and mind you, that took like all of the first day, but when I actually figured it out, it was quite easy and I quite enjoyed it. 
it was very relaxing once you get a hang of it. The keyword is get a hang of it. Yeah. Look at that guy. Oh, he's so cute. I think, I think the next thing that we're going to do is get this little patch of flowers done. So next, I started to work on this little patch of flowers. And these were one of my favorite things to work on because they were so cute. And it was very easy to work on them. It was just one stitch at a time in little portions. Now, this flower I hated. I tried to do the outside rim first and stitch that out and then fill it in. It did not work. It was really bad. <laughs> but then I finished up all these little flowers and I put a little blue flower in the corner. I haven't checked in a little bit, but this is the embroidery that I've done. I've done a lot of it while watching a show with my brother, but um, I'm going to see how much I can film, but I got to go right now. Okay. So I have some explaining to do. I have been working on my embroidery for the past three days. I've been mostly doing it while I was watching a show with my little brother. But um, I have not been very diligent at filming it. So this is what I've done for the embroidery so far. Um, in my opinion, I love it. Um, I am especially proud of this flower right here. To me, this flower is just gosh darn it gorgeous. Because if you look behind it, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> and I'm afraid if I wash it, then it's all gonna get pulled out. The flower that I'm least impressed with is this guy because I was trying something new and it kind of just ended in disaster. <laughs> there we go. That is the flowery part of the flower. Once you get the hang of it, it's very relaxing. Honestly, I think it's for the best that I didn't film all of this process. Otherwise, I would have like six hours of footage. New plan, we are going to try to make a sunflower. I have completely scratched out the flowers and I am going to replace it by a, with a big sunflower right here. Future Zoe is back. Did you miss me? It's been a while. <laughs> Anyways, this sunflower was actually really fun to make. I enjoyed the process of creating it. It was very simple because I was just going around in a circle the whole time, just, you know, stitching away one at a time. And another reason why I really liked it is because I love the color yellow. It's just a really fun, bright color to me. And I've always loved sunflowers. So it was very special for me to just put it right smack in the middle of my embroidery. It was actually the biggest thing that I created too, which just makes me love it even more. I don't know what else to say, so uh, bye. It is the next day, and um, I'm just going to let you know now, my shoulder hurts so much because I keep on, like, I lean over my desk to do that. Oh my gosh, and it's awful. It feels like there's a rock on my shoulder. It is not fun. But I did want to uh, go ahead and tell you about this sunflower that I did. I don't know how much I covered about it because this has been such a long process. I was gonna put the floofy flowers right where the sunflower is, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do that and I tried three separate times. I'd, I'd say that I have about three to four hours already on this alone. I ran out of yellow, so I had to dig into another kit to get some different yellow, which means that, as you can tell, this I had to use the new thread because I was running out. It's not a big deal. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's a leaf. Like, <laughs> I don't really have to explain what's going on here. We need to finish this. <laughs> it's been going on for so long. I just can't anymore. It's so much. I think I just created too much work for myself. My shoulders are killing me. Boom. So this stick structure gave me a lot of trouble actually. When I made it gray for whatever reason, I was trying to figure out what color to make the little petals on it. So I went with peach, which I thought would look nice together, but ugh, it's not my favorite, honestly. I am physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually upset right now and it's not fun. I ran out of yellow, so I had to go in with a different tone of yellow. Can you see it? I can't tell. I can. It's only yellow. 
When you've been staring at it for four hours straight, you kind of start to notice things. So here I am creating a little stem leaf situation leading up to this really pretty flower. And this flower is like the deep purple one that I did. And I loved that kind of flower. So, no, naturally, I loved this flower too. This flower, this type of flower just eats up the thread. Like, I'm already almost out, and I have done two, but two petals. The whole time that I've been making these recordings, I've been saying things like, Oh, I love these flowers. They're all so beautiful. But right now, I'm going to say all the negative things that I've been thinking. These flowers are terrible. I hate them all. This is awful. Voila! Oh my gosh! Look how cute it's looking. It is time to finish this project. Let's go. And if anyone wants me to embroider any of their pieces or teach them how to embroider, I will be taking applications, even over FaceTime, if we must, which we must. So I have decided that the center of Le Flowers, Le Purpel Flowers, are going to be blue for no reason at all except for that i want to use blue you know what's actually killing me my shoulders my especially this one is actually about to die it is going to die i think it probably already did die a long time ago i think i i regrew a shoulder and now that second shoulder is going to die very soon Boop. oh my gosh i think i'm done i think i'm done oh my gosh I think I'm done. Okay, let's go over some things that have happened during this one full week project. This, this my friends, is all of my thread that was executed. Another intense mess that I've dealt with is the inside. <laughs> This is the inside of my, uh, my project. It is pretty awful. This was one of the first flowers that I created and I had to sew it through a pocket and it got really messed up. This is the finished product. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I did that. Oh my goodness. I mean, when you look at it, above like that is awesome have i mentioned how happy i am i mean look how cute it is especially like right there oh my gosh right there can you tell that i'm pleased i love it i mean look at it i would recommend this it's worth it if you want to spend the time doing it if you're at if you're dedicated to doing it, I'd say go for it. If you are an impatient person and you're not dedicated to it and you're just like, nah, I'll do it on the side, it will not work. This has been so long and I just wanted to say thank you so much if you stuck through this entire video to the end. You are a trooper, you are amazing. If you have been dedicated to watch this entire video, then you have what it takes to embroider really it's the same thing it's just determination patience the results speak for itself anyways thank you so much for watching and if you happen to like my content which i don't know why you wouldn't no i'm kidding <laughs> then please consider liking and subscribing